All right, my little AP art friends, we're going to talk about three AP art tips and stuff and things, but mostly stuff that can help you improve your AP art portfolio. So here they are. Number one, we're going to talk about exploring your idea. This is a painting by Monet. It's a haystack. And he had an idea. He was like, what if I painted a haystack and every time the light changed, I painted another haystack. So he would stand out in the field and he'd start painting a haystack. And then when the light changed, he'd put that canvas down and he'd pick up the other canvas and he'd start finishing it. And like every hour, he'd change his canvas. And at the end, he had a whole bunch of paintings of canvases showing the different light. And this would have made an amazing AP concentration a couple of years ago when they had concentrations. But now it's not a concentration. It's a sustained investigation. And what is he investigating? Well, he would have been investigating light on haystacks, but basically he would have created a portfolio of basically the same thing. There's no change. There's no growth. We're looking for change and growth. So how do you do that? What does that even mean? I mean, Monet's cool, but that's not going to make it. Well, here's this girl. Her name is um, Skittle Girl. And she's like, what if I can make art only using Skittle? And that was her like sustained investigation. So she bought a bag of Skittles and she arranged them on a plate and she made some art and it was great. <laughs> anyway, she could have kept going and just arranged them on the plate and made the same thing over and over and over again, like Monet did with the haystacks. But he didn't want to do that. I mean, she didn't want to do that. Skittle Girl wanted to do it differently. She wanted to make something a little different. So she's like, well, how can I arrange them to make it look different? And she did it. And she made like Yoshi in a Mario Kart or whoever this guy is doing that. And then that was kind of cool. It was kind of like pixel art. She's like, well, you know, cartoon characters are neat and everything, but what if I did a real person? So she did Homer Simpson out of it. And she was like, wow. This Skittle thing has some potential. What if I did a self-portrait of myself? So there's Skittle Girl making her Skittle portrait out of Skittles with a big bag of Skittles. And then Skittle Girl was like, well, I made it look like me. But what if I used like geometrical shapes and I try to make it like that? And then she did this one here. And she kept transforming and growing and thinking, how can I take the next step? How can I make a difference? And in the end, she had this whole idea explored through how to make art in Skittles. And it wasn't all the same thing. It was all different was unique and it showed growth. That's what you want to do. So your question for yourself right now is, how can I continue to take my idea in the next direction? How can I make this better? How can I explore my idea? Two, uh, this is Joe and Joe's concentration was about food because he liked to cook. Now the thing about Joe is, and his art right here, is it's a nice picture, but it's straight on. I might have talked to some of you about this already, but everybody can do straight on. So Joe was like, how can I take this to the next level? Level? How can I explore the composition? And he was like, I know. I can do it through different perspectives and foreshortening. So that's what he decided to do. He was like, what if there was like a bug on the ceiling and the bug was looking down on me, making my food and cooking? And then he had this perspective and his hands coming out, it's foreshortening. It was a much more interesting composition. So he stuck with it for a little while and he was like, yeah, that's cool. I can do a couple like that. But if he had just left it like that, he would have been like Monet. But he was like, how can I explore the composition more? So he's like, what if like I was inside the oven and like it's like you're in the back of the oven and I'm like reaching in or out to get the food. And that was a cool idea too and it had a good composition. But he was like, I can take it even better over the top. He was like, what if I was like on the bottom of the refrigerator looking up and I was getting food out and you could like looking from the bottom up. Like that's a crazy composition. Look how much different that is than straight on boring Joe right here. Look how more dynamic and exciting that is and straight on boring go. The point is, you want to be dynamic. So change your composition. Think about bird's eye view. Think about ant's eye view. Think about foreshortening. Make your compositions really interesting. You can grow with that. And speaking of growth, let me talk about the last thing. You need to push for quality. Now, in 2005, this guy drew this warrior guy, and it was pretty good. But in 2006, he improved his shading a little bit. And in 2007, he improved it even more. And he got more dynamic with the muscles and the poses. And by 2010, look at that. It looks almost realistic with the shading and the hair and everything. See, he grew and grew his quality. He got better. Here's another one. In 2009, this person did a portrait. Well, they were afraid of the dark. They didn't have any value, no contrast. In 2010, they added a little bit. But by 2012, they had really bumped it up. They had really rich darks. And by 2015, they were drawing Taylor Swift. Everybody loves Taylor Swift. Now, look how much better 2015 is from 2009 because they kept improving their quality. Now, you don't have six years to get better. You've got less than six months. So what are you going to do to improve your quality? Well, I had you do a tutorial already once, right? Do a tutorial every week. Learn, grow, look at things, look at artists, steal from other artists, and try to improve your art. Constantly make art. 
make the art. So that's it. I want you to explore your idea, try to go deeper. I want you to explore the composition, try different angles, and I want you to push for quality, try tutorials, and get better. We're going to get this thing done this year. All right, go out there. That's all I got to say. Yeah. <laughs>